seems to be an awful lot of sand on this guy's album covers. Not actual sand, just, you know, pictures of sand. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get your CDs or records near sand because then they'd get all scratched up and then they wouldn't play. one and all and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. You guys have been so very very patient in waiting for me to bring back my now and then feature. Uh, yeah it's been what four months since my last now and then. Uh, yeah it's been quite a long time and I think I told you guys the story of this. Uh, the last time I tried to do a now and then it was a dismal failure. It crashed and burned and it was all the more painful because it was one that uh, at least one of my good YouTube friends was waiting for me to do. Uh, it was going to be on Megan Trainer, and he was just kind of waiting for me to do a now and then for Megan Trainer, and I, I am still disappointed that I had to let him down. I, I just kind of integrated her latest album into my last Spankin' Platters and left it at that. And ever since then, I've been a little bit gun shy, I guess is the phrase, about doing another now and then. But uh, recently, I've had a small flurry of albums that have come out. Um, which is kind of refreshing with uh, all the artists that have been postponing or canceling their albums lately, uh, that I just kind of got the inspiration. I decided to sit down and uh, listen to the albums. The juices started flowing, and here we are. Uh, your patience has been rewarded, and I'm bringing you some more Now and Thens. Yes, for those of you who may be newer arrivals to my channel or may be unfamiliar with the concept, Now and Then is my regularly irregular feature in which I talk about two albums by the same artist, their newest release as well as one from their back catalog. The guest of honor in today's Now and Then is country artist Kenny Chesney, and for now we'll be talking about his newest album, Here and Now, his 19th release. Now, to be totally honest with you, I am a relative newcomer to Kenny Chesney. I only started listening to him a little over a year ago, maybe, and that was kind of by accident. I happened to see three of his uh, late 90s, early 2000s CDs on the freebie shelf at House of Records. And uh, I, of course, had heard of Kenny Chesney before then, but I decided to go ahead and pick him up and uh, take him home, listen to him. I mean, what better price is there than free, right? So, and I liked one or two of the songs off of each of those albums. Nothing really hit me, uh, you know, overwhelmingly so. But uh, as I kind of tend to do, I decided to just kind of stick with him pick up an album here and there when I found it for a good price, and before you know it, this is the 10th Kenny Chesney album I have in my collection. That's pretty ironic, isn't it, that I start out paying nothing for my first three Kenny Chesney CDs, and that ultimately leads me to end up paying for seven others? Anyway, uh, what do we get with this album here and now? Well, uh, it's, it's a pretty solid album overall, honestly, and uh, well, for starters, Kenny says in the liner notes that the theme of this album is how people around the world who may be very different in some ways can actually end up being very similar in other ways. Uh, but the thread that I found in this album through its first couple of listens uh, was looking back at missed opportunities and in so doing appreciating opportunities when they hit. Uh, one of those uh, seize the moment songs as I like to call them is the title track which urges us not to take the here and now for granted. A couple other songs that uh, fit into the theme that I found in the album. Uh, there's one song called Wasted, which is a song about uh, Kenny's conversation in a bar with a celebrity who uh, wasted his fortune and by extension his life over the course of his career. Another song on here called Everyone She Knows, uh, which also goes along with the theme that I saw, is about a woman in a midlife crisis of sorts who's, uh, while she's glad she isn't tied down with a family or an adult life, at the same time she's secretly envious of women who are. And uh, there are a couple of great, great ballads on this album. Uh, one of them is called Someone to Fix, which is a very, very poignant song about the prot protagonist's regret of being a high-maintenance guy for a woman who needed someone stronger and more stable. And another ballad on here is called Knowing You, which is a song about lost love that could have been very run-of-the-mill, but thanks to the excellently structured lyrics, uh, that elevates, elevates it to a little something more. One of the slightly darker, I guess you'd say, ballads on here is a song called You Don't Get To, which is about a particularly rough breakup in which the protagonist points out his ex's bad treatment of him. An example of the lyrics is, Blame it on something, break me like it's nothing, just to love me back together. I don't have to understand, you don't get to give a damn. After all you put me through, no, you don't get to. Uh, so that, that's a great, great song, great standout. Uh, one of the standout upbeat tracks is Heartbreakers. That's about uh, romantic partners of the past who, according to the protagonist, have a kind of life in them that arguably the ones today don't. 
and it has a ridiculously catchy chorus that you'll probably end up singing along to before the end of your first listen to that song. It's just such a great catchy song. Another of the album's better moments comes in the song Beautiful World, and although it doesn't have a particularly profound message, it's just about the beauty that can be found in the world around us. Uh, it's still it's still a good song. I happen to be a sucker for those just those generally uplifting kind of songs like that. Uh, Happy Does is a bouncy, feel-good song, like the title suggests, about an irrepressibly optimistic guy. And uh, I suppose there can be a message in that, uh, I guess. Uh, it's all in your own point of view, perhaps. And again, you know, not a profound song, but it is very pleasant. Ed Sheeran, for those of you Ed Sheeran fans out there, he actually co-writes and guest vocalizes on the song Tip of My Tongue, which was one of the singles on this album. Which in, It has a bit of a pop and R&B feel to it, not surprising since Ed Sheeran was involved in it. It's a really good song, but the only drawback to it is it does sound a bit out of place uh, compared to the rest of the album. So that's the only drawback on that song, but otherwise it's a good song. Uh, the album does have a couple of tracks that just didn't do anything for me. Uh, the opener, We Do, is it's rousing enough. It's it's you know it's got a rousing up uh, thing. It's got a, it's a great way to start the album with a great sing along chorus, uh, but it has lyrics that could perhaps be interpreted by some as being patriotic. Uh, not that that's a bad thing in itself, and it is a reminder of the freedoms we with that we have. Uh, that's you know, that's the hook of the song is the you know we do there are things that we do that other other people in other countries arguably can't uh but still there's something about the song that just to didn't totally win me over what can i say and the closing track guys named captain yes a strange title and that's one of the things that uh i have trouble getting past on that song it is a sweet song um and but the title and by extension the lyrics as i mentioned just feel a little bit strange Maybe a little bit awkward, possibly not the best, uh, the most natural thing. I don't know. My beefs about the song are admittedly a little weak, uh, just because I'm not sure what to think about the song. It just it just didn't catch me. Maybe it will later on. I don't know. But uh, overall, this is a very solid album. I'm glad I picked it up and added it to my Kenny Chesney discography. So yeah, not bad at all. Here and Now by Kenny Chesney. Might as well check it out if you're in the mood for some country. But that was now, and this is then. The Big Revival, Kenny Chesney's 16th album from 2014. Now this is actually one of two Chesney CDs that I picked up last year at Skips during his liquidation sale. And the thing that caught my attention about this album was its cover art. I mean, look at it. It just ca caught my eye right away. And I liked it so much, in fact, that uh, you'll notice that it is in my album art flyby in my intro. Uh, those of you who have uh, extra sharp eyes already knew that. But yeah, just a fantastic cover, and hey, the album is pretty darn good too. Now, I mentioned how I the theme I found in Here and Now being a lot different from Kenny Chesney's intended theme. Well, along the same line, the title track from this album, The Big Revival, it's the, it's the opening track, the one that kicks off the album. It has a message in it, uh, according to the liner notes, that I didn't pick up on. Uh, I took the lyrics at face value, which was a satirical look and an indictment of sorts at the more fringe and questionable aspects of uh, religion, the more uh, weird denominations, uh, like the snake oil preachers and stuff, uh, and quite literally, according to the lyrics in this case, uh, one of the hooks in the song is, Praise the Lord and Pass Me a Copperhead. Uh, but for Kenny Chesney, the song is about finding something that fires your passion and wakes up your soul. And honestly, when it's couched in a song this amazing, uh, who cares what the message is? But yeah, regardless of what the lyrics are about, the song is one of the best opening tracks of any album I've heard in recent memory. Honestly, it just kicks off the album with a bang and hits the ground running. I'm not sure what it is, the, the rhythmic structure, the bass line, but it, it yeah, is, as I said, it just makes the album hit the ground running for me. It's just fantastic. Uh, another great upbeat song on this album is American Kids, and kind of like the song um, Heartbreakers that I mentioned on the other album, the chorus is something you'll probably be singing along to before you finished your first listen to the song. Uh, part of the uh, chorus is, Grown up in little pink houses, making out on living room couches, blowing that smoke on Saturday night, a little messed up, but we're all all right. How can you resist? I mean, listen to the song and you'll totally agree with, agree with me. It has, it has very much of a nostalgic vibe, which is probably why I like it, uh, although I can't personally relate to very many of the lyrics, uh, you know, in, in literal context. Uh, my other favorite song on this album, though, has not only a great message, but several references to music in its lyrics, and you know how I like that. That song is called Rock Bottom, and it is, as the title suggests, about uh, getting back on your feet after you've hit a low point in your life. 
Another one of the album's highlights is a song called Wild Child. Uh, it's a beautiful ballad about uh, a girl with a free spirit, and it features Grace Potter on guest vocals, and that's actually not the first time that she has guested on a song or album of Kimmy's. Uh, it's just a great song. Uh, another great one is Save It For A Rainy Day, and that's actually a song that I could have used on a few occasions lately. It's basically about uh, not wallowing in heartbreak or self-pity and trying to enjoy life. Uh, enjoy the, the gifts that life gives you and that you might not be able to see at the time. And another song, great song with a great message is Don't It. And it, it's about basically following your dreams and learning how to cope when you fall short of achieving them. So it's another excellent song. And that's one of the great things about that you can almost be guaranteed uh, in a Kenny Chesney album is songs that lift you up, that you know boost your ego in some way, that help you out in rough times. And uh, the second and third tracks on this album, Drink It Up and Till It's Gone, are they're not bad. Uh, Drink It Up is uh, about getting the most out of life. It's one, another one of those seize the moment kind of songs. And Till It's Gone is an upbeat love song. But they tend to blend together and it was possibly on purpose uh, because Kenny does put the lyric Drink It Up in the outro of Till It's Gone. So so yeah, he kind of they're, they're kind of tied together in that respect. So that, that makes them a little more interesting. And uh, the closing track, If This Bus Could Talk, is an ode to his band's longtime tour bus. Uh, it's a very sweetly composed song built on a very nice piano line. Um, you know, most of Kenny Chesney's stuff is, is uh, founded on guitar, so it's a little bit of an interesting uh, change of pace being a piano-based tune. Though I do have a small nitpick, and yes, it is a very small, silly nitpick. Um, the lyric, in the lyrics, he refers to the bus as him instead of her. You know, traditionally, you refer to a vehicle as a as a her. I guess. As I said, very small, silly nitpick. And then there's a song on here called Floribama, which is, it's a party song, and some of the lyrics make it sound like a rather stereotypical country song, almost almost cringeworthy so. Uh, it refers to the region as the Redneck Riviera. So, uh, But one lyric caught my ear in that song. Uh, license plates from every state nailed up to the wall, which triggered for me a memory of the Byways Cafe up in Portland, uh, which closed back in January. And, it's cause, and that was one of the decors as they had uh, license plates that uh, their customers would bring in and they would add to their collection on the wall. It was a great place, and that's one of the things I'll miss most about that restaurant. But anyway, um, all in all, this is a great, great album, and I'm starting to rethink whether I should have had it in my top 100 albums of the decade instead of his subsequent album, Cosmic Hallelujah. Uh, not that that wasn't a really great album also, but uh, yeah, a, a fantastic album. And uh, which album do I like more? I would have to say uh, uh, The Big Revival is definitely better on my list. Yeah, he had something about those the, the albums that he put out in the first half of the, of the 2010s or middle of the 2010s, I guess. This one and, and Cosmic Hallelujah were both fantastic, but yeah. Uh, given a choice between these two, I would definitely go with The Big Revival. Um, it's, yeah, if, if you want to try try out Kenny Chesney, give this album a try. I don't think you'll be just disappointed at all. Well, what do you think? Did I make this now and then worthy of your wait for the feature's return? I certainly hope so. But yeah, that'll do it for this look at Kenny Chesney now and then. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Suggestions, questions, constructive criticisms? Lay them on me in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the link to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.